Speaking of kids, we are starting something new for the kids today. We are calling it the ABC 11 Weather School. Mm -hmm. And uh, each week on a Friday, kids can submit questions to our website and we'll answer them. So let's show you this week's question. Hi, my name is Abby Weitzel. I'm a student from Green Elementary. And here's my weather question for you. What is transpiration and how does it affect the weather? All right. Good what question. is transpiration? How does it affect the weather? Well, Abby, it's all part of the water cycle. So uh, tra transpiration is where water goes from plants into the atmosphere. That, uh, that counts for about 10% of the atmospheric moisture. The other moisture in the atmosphere comes from evaporation. That's 90% moisture in the atmosphere. It goes up, and as it goes into the sky, it condenses into clouds. Eventually, all of it gathers enough to make precipitation, rain or sometimes snow. That falls to the ground. That runs back off and back into the street, streams and creeks and rivers and eventually the oceans and also into the soil where plants pull the water up again and they let that water back out and the transpiration process continues. So like it's it. part of the whole water cycle. Thank yeah. you so much. If you've got a question out there, we would love to hear from you. Just log on to abc11.com forward slash abc11 weather school. You can submit your video questions there. We will answer them every Friday morning. All right. Let's